There he was yesterday. No, I'm not talking about Miss America. I'm talking about Joe Biden making news with his plan to fight climate change. Biden declared himself yesterday Captain Planet, and thus the official Green New Deal platform was presented to the American people yesterday of all the places on earth, Wilmington, Delaware. The way Joe Biden was talking yesterday, he and Kamala the Kami Harris are going to take this country down a familiar road, put an immediate halt to rising planet temperatures, and finally accomplish their ultimate goal, turn the United States of America into a pure socialist republic with the most basic opportunities and movement of the American people controlled by, you guessed it, our government. Most likely, China's Communist Party would really be calling the shots. If this latest scheme from Biden sounds all too familiar, it should. He and Barry Obama headed the first attempts at his party's Green New Deal back in 2009. I am sure you've heard of Solyndra, Fisker, and all those shovel-ready jobs that were part of America's new direction. Our tax dollars were essentially stolen by Obama-Biden, their hangers-on, and loads of their supporters who got rich by investing in this socialist-democrat con game. I will attempt to open your eyes to the latest attempts by the Socialist Democrats to seal the deal on the Socialist States of America on the monologue. Great fences make good neighbors, all while providing safety, security, and privacy for you, your family, and your fur family. Backyard Works is your local fence, deck, and handrail experts owned and operated right here in Sussex County. All materials are top quality and made in the USA. Backyard Works knows that home is where the heart is. Visit online to view stunning projects at BackyardWorks.net or call today for customer service that's unmatched. 302-703-9888. The monologue is entitled, Biden's Green New Steel. I thought it so appropriate that Biden and those who called the shots on his campaign had him giving his official Green New Deal speech in New Communist County. After all, this Green New Deal crapola is nothing but a backdoor method to destroy what is left of our manufacturing sector and limit the movements of the American people. Our deep state has already been preparing us for the implementation of the Green New Deal by keeping us in our homes during the pandemic, forcing us to wear masks and limiting and or restricting our movements in public. They'll say to us, see, you've already done it. The Green New Deal is no big deal. They were indeed preparing us for the day when our homes are maintained at 60 degrees and gasoline is $10 a gallon to discourage consumption and protect the planet. Joe Biden and Kamala the Kami will ensure that you will not be able to purchase the car of your choice, a car that you can afford. The only personal transportation available for purchase will be of the battery-operated kind, which most people will be unable to afford once they are put out of work by the Green New Deal. When you or your family realize that you can no longer afford personal transportation, in other words, your own car, you will be forced to stand at the side of the road waiting for a DART bus to pick you up. Consider that this nation is energy independent right now, thanks to President Trump and new technologies. Good old American know-how and freedom have outwitted OPEC and other oil producing countries. We are, once again, an energy exporter in the 21st century. If you remember, Jimmy Carter told us way back in 1977 that we would have run dry of oil over 30 years ago. Wrong again, Jimmy. But the Socialist Democrats will not even consider America being an energy producer exporter. We can't have any of that. We have to be dependent on others. This is America. Consider what the Socialist Democrats have done to our travel industry since the beginning of the year. There are very few planes in the sky. I never see any myself. Many fewer flights. Isn't that just what AOC, the Princess of Marxism, ordered? Countries such as China will be waiting to steal more of our manufacturing sector and technology when it is clear that America will no longer be manufacturing anything because it will be too polluting, you see. Back in 2009, Joe Biden was asked about the trillions of dollars spent by the Obama administration on all these wasteful stimulus projects, green energy projects, such as Solyndra, we lost a half a billion dollars in that scheme, and cash for clunkers. When Biden was asked about the Fisker deal at the failed plant opening in Newark, 
Uncle Joe, who was thinking much clearer in those days, said, and I quote, This is seed money that will return back to the American consumer in billions and billions and billions of dollars in good new jobs. Yes, it was Joe Biden who said that. My friends, you know the Fisker plant never produced one car, not even a go-kart. When all was said and done, the taxpayers lost millions and the Chinese walked away with the technology and equipment and Joe Biden, who pushed Jack Markell to do this deal, walked away without a scratch. Taxpayers, you and me, were hurt, but not Teflon Joe. He walked away scot-free. But now Uncle Joe has learned from his past mistakes. He wants another shot to create green energy jobs. But I have more examples of Obama Biden's Green New Deal. Sounded like a good idea to try to stimulate the depressed auto industry there. But then Obama Biden gave stimulus money to a Korean company. That's right, a Korean company. The money never went to create jobs in Michigan, which badly needed that money. Obama Biden handed $150 million in stimulus money, our tax dollars, over to a Korean CEO, Peter Banchuk Kim. Who the hell is Peter Banchuk Kim? And why did he get even a penny of our tax dollars to create jobs in South Korea from Obama Biden? Obama Biden handed over our tax dollars to other South Korean companies. Instead of creating jobs here at home, South Korean companies were given, get this, $303 million to produce car batteries with foreign workers, not American workers, foreign workers. So again, when you hear Joe Biden talk about his Green New Deal creating American jobs, don't you believe him. He's lying through his teeth. When you hear that he will force you to purchase cars operated by car batteries, remember this. Nearly half of the Obama-Biden $2.4 billion of stimulus money our tax dollars devoted to advanced vehicle batteries went to foreign companies. That's right, foreign companies. Nearly half of Obama Biden's $2.4 billion of stimulus money, which was devoted to advanced vehicle batteries for hybrid and electric cars, went to companies with ties to Russia, China, South Africa, and France. That money was supposed to create American jobs, and yet it went to create jobs in other countries. That's what Joe Biden is all about, my friends. If Joe Biden is elected president, we should expect more of the same. Back in 2009, billions of our tax dollars went to stimulate the economies of foreign countries, to create jobs for foreigners. And who did that? It was Barry Obama and Joe Biden, that's who. My friends, this Green New Deal is our last battle. For that, there can be no doubt. The enemies of freedom know this. That is why they are pushing hard to change America into a socialist third world country with no power, military or economic. Biden may be an empty head, but those around him are not. They know what they are doing. They know that China is waiting for another Fisker closeout sale in Newark. The only problem is that this next sale will be much bigger and there will be no turning back. The enemies of freedom have America up for sale and Biden is their used car salesman. Will America have a huge going out of business sale within the next year? It could happen. Back in the 1950s and 60s, we used to hear the term, it must be a communist plot. My friends, the Green New Deal is that communist plot. Wasn't it fitting that Biden launched his communist plot in New Communist County. Say no to Biden. Say no to communism. Say no to the Green New Steel. And that is the monologue. What 